Hi guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to look younger naturally, how to look younger at 40, and so many of my other tricks. So I'll be honest, not every single thing that I do is natural. A lot of the things that I do are, and let's just say I follow the 80-20 rule. I wish that every single thing that I could do would be natural to keep myself looking younger, but it's just not the case. My name is Megan Graham, and um, for those of you who wonder, am I an expert at looking young? I think that I was very lucky starting off in my late 20s in that my best friend is a dermatologist and I learned so many good and usable tricks from her. Um, I'm always sort of like waiting to make my videos because I want to be in that perfect spot where I look perfect and I'm perfectly rested and the whole video is so planned. But by doing that, I think I'm actually keeping content away from you guys that would be really, really useful. I am a beauty entrepreneur. I own an award-winning salon on Newberry Street in Boston. So I'm very good at making women look younger with hair color. And I also was a professional fitness model. So I have all of these tips and tricks that I've learned from photographers, that I've learned from different educators. And I just want to bring these really good and useful tips to you. Because in the beauty industry, so many people are going to try to sell you these certain products and they're going to say that they work, but I am here to tell you what really works and what you should not probably waste your money on because if it's a waste of money, it is not on my list. I'm just gonna tell you some of my personal beauty tips and tricks. I am 44 years old and just to give you a little bit of background, um, I would honestly say if this makes any sense, I look younger now than I did when I was 22. So the way that this happened is that when I was 22, I was working in a cigar bar, which is so gross, I realized that, but it was the way that I was able to make money that I needed to put myself through college. Now, the smoke really damaged my skin at the time, and I looked older at 22 than I do at 44. So I had to do a lot of things to sort of pick up my skin tone and things like that. So I would obviously avoid smoking if you would like to look younger than your age because that is something that you don't want to do. But let's talk about the things that you should do. One of the most important things that you can possibly do, and it is so easy to do, is to whiten your teeth. Nothing is a dead giveaway for age like yellowed or damaged teeth. So not only do you want to whiten your teeth, but you want to take care of them. You get one set of teeth, and yes, you can buy new teeth, but veneers never look as natural as just taking care of your natural teeth. So that is my number one tip. Now, this is a really easy one, and of course, it's my profession, but color your hair. As soon as you stop coloring your hair and you go all gray, you're instantly aging yourself by about 20 years. This is your prerogative to do, and if it's what you want to do, then I celebrate you and I'm not judging you, but if you're trying to look younger, it's the opposite of what you want to do. I would also recommend getting Botox. Now, I know Botox is so controversial, but I started getting it when I was 28, and I actually started getting it before I saw the signs of aging, so that has really decreased my aging, and I haven't really needed much else other than the Botox because it stopped a lot of the frown lines, a lot of the wrinkles and things like that. It's called prejuvenation, and it really works. I also get about once every two years, just a little bit of facial fit, <laughs> whoops, let me try that again. About every two years, I get a little bit of facial fillers. Um, I'm on the thinner side naturally, and it my face just is thinner. It doesn't have that beautiful baby fat that you know, none of us wanted when we were 18 and now we want it so much. So I get a tiny bit of filler. Now here is the important part. A little bit of filler makes you look younger if you need it. A lot of filler doesn't really make you look younger and it doesn't make you look older. It makes you look like a weird alien. When women put too much filler under their eyes, um, they don't look young, they just look puffy. So remember moderation is key because you might look younger than your age, but you're not going to go back in time and be 19 again. It's just not reasonable to try to do that. This is actually such an easy tip, but make sure that you don't wear a super dark lipstick. I learned this trick a long time ago from a photographer on a modeling shoot and I wanted to wear red lipstick and he said do you want to look 10 years older I didn't really understand why at the time but he showed me the difference in two photographs and it was really amazing how much older I looked when I had red lipstick on so keep your makeup color soft if you look at pictures of Jennifer Lopez at the beginning of her career and then you look at her now 
What you're going to notice is she wears much more muted and natural makeup. Everything is really well blended, it's really soft, and her lip colors enhance, so she's not wearing a nude that makes her look like a corpse. She's wearing a nude that has like a soft glow, if you will, but don't wear a dark lipstick and think you're going to look young. It is actually a great trick for looking older. Another easy tip is to drink plenty of water. Whenever I get a little bit dehydrated, the first place that I notice it is this under eye area and you'll get those hollows and things like that it just it's simple it's free reach for the water and hydrate daily you're going to notice a tremendous difference in your skin and here's another thing that doesn't cost any money make sure you get in your bed for at least eight hours because if you don't sleep enough you're going to notice that you don't look as good immediately last night I think like the, the everyday stresses from things that are happening right now kind of were taking a toll on me and I did not sleep probably for more than six hours. And when I woke up, I was like, yes, I look five years older just from not sleeping. So please get your sleep, turn off your phone, turn off your TV, rest is paramount. This is a longer term thing, but if you want to look younger, it's really important to build some muscle. Now I know that women hear muscle and like immediately you're picturing me with Arnold Schwarzenegger's body, you know, from the neck down and then like my head from the neck up. That's not how it happens. Lean muscle is actually, if you look at, you know, like a 16 year old body and they they always have beautiful bodies. It's just, it is what it is. You look great when you're 16, but they have that healthy muscle tone. And every year as we age, we're losing that muscle tone. So if you put back some of that nice muscle tone, all of your clothes are going to look better. It's also going to help with your human growth hormones. It's going to help you sleep work out and add some muscle. It's going to make you look more youthful. You're gonna carry yourself so much better. And I've been, I've been doing it for years. I've been working out since I was 18 and it makes a huge difference. And the, the better the shape my body is in, the better that my face looks. It's odd that that happens, but it is the truth. Now we need to be wearing sunscreen on our face. And I guess you could say your face and neck, but you really should be wearing it on whatever is being exposed to the sun. What I would also add is don't forget your hands because there's nothing worse than when someone has like really taken care of their face and then you see their hands and you're like, what? Do those hands belong to another person? Remember your hands are attached to your body. So it's your face and please don't just do the face part, do your face, your neck, your chest is important too. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, the more YouTube videos that I've been making, the more that I realize, oh my gosh, I, I need to do more exfoliation, more serums and things like that on my chest because I will say that for me, I don't know if you can see it, but my chest is not perfect. Um, there were definitely times where I did go in the sun and I should have worn more sunscreen on my chest and it's all catching up to me now. All right guys, I'm gonna be pretty unpopular when I tell you this one, but you should be avoiding alcohol or drinking it in moderation. Um, this is something that I have always done naturally. I will say that like with the coronavirus, I may have had more alcohol than I than I usually have had. Like I've never been one to have a drink at my own home and I have had some drinks at my own home. So, you know, shoot me. But um, this is something that will dehydrate you. It will impact your sleep and it will age you. So I'm not telling you not to drink. I am a moderate person and I feel like it's always important to do things where you can lead a healthy, happy life and you can do things that you enjoy. And let's face it, some of us might like to have a drink now and again, but I think if you can limit it to two times per week, that would be amazing. Or if you're if you're drinking daily, that, I mean, that's a lot, I'm not going to lie, but if it's up to you. Um, I wouldn't have more than one drink. Um, and I would make sure to hydrate because that drinking is not so good for your skin. So maybe you haven't done all of these tricks perfectly and you're noticing that your skin tone is a little bit uneven, what I like to do is actually to use a tinted moisturizer so that it gives me a little bit of light coverage and it just kind of like perfects some of the things that are going on with my skin. You know, if there's a little bit of like darkness or redness or things like that, I'm actually wearing tinted moisturizer today. So I'm not wearing foundation and I always feel like for my videos, I should be just like, slathering myself with foundation, you know, like contouring, pretending I have like a different nose. I don't have the time. I would never get these ideas to you guys. And like, this is really how I am in my daily life. Like take it or leave it, I'm not an airbrushed person. 
Um, but if you use a really nice tinted moisturizer, it's going to make you look so good. And my tinted moisturizer has a 15 in it. Now I know everybody says you should wear a 25. I wear a 15. I think wearing a 15 is better than not wearing any sunscreen at all. And I also don't spend a lot of time outside. That is what I do. But when I put that tinted moisturizer on, it gives me just a really, really nice glow. Sometimes too much of a glow. I will say that sometimes when I'm looking at the footage, I look and I'm like, oh, I'm so shiny on YouTube. Um, again, that's just me. I'm always shiny, um, no matter how much I powder. I, I guess like for me, I'd rather be shiny than have my skin be parched and dry. So I will try to be grateful. So I need to pick up Alfie for this last tip because he's just sitting on the couch and he's being so cute. But anyway, my this is a really big tip. Is it's to use Retin-A. Now you may have used Retin-A and you might think, I don't like Retin-A, it made me break out, it made me feel like a scaly snake or something like that. Here is the trick to using Retin-A. I don't use Retin-A every single day. I do use Retin-A. I use Retin-A as much as my skin will tolerate it. So I was off of Retin-A for a while and I just got a new prescription for it. And the way that I integrate it into my beauty routine is I use it starting once a week. Okay, that works well. There's a motorcycle just driving by, so. It's like always when I'm filming. I'm just gonna keep going. Anyway, so. First I do it once a week, my skin tolerates that. So then I move it up to six days, my skin tolerates that. And I just started doing every five days and now I'm just starting to get a little bit of flaking. But thing to keep in mind, the flaking is always around areas that need to go. They're areas that need rejuvenation, whether it's an old acne scar, because even at 44, I'm still blessed with acne. I guess that is one of the caveats of still looking young. I literally still look young and I still get zits. But anyway, it's going to lock on to things that need to come off anyway. So if my old acne scars are flaking away, I have no problem with that. That said, I'm sticking to every five days for a few weeks. And when I don't notice any flaking, I'm going to try every four days. And then if I can get to a point where that works, I will move up a little bit. But what a lot of people do is they just get Retin-A and they instantly try to use it every single day and that does not work. So I really hope that these tips are helpful for you. I know that some people might look at it and say, oh my gosh, she does so many different things. She does, you know, Botox, she does Retin-A. But the truth is I'm not really doing that many different things. I mean, I take care of myself, I work out, I drink water, I wear fairly soft makeup and, and all of that but I'm not breaking my back to look youthful. And I will say that I still regularly get carded and, it, and it's like delightful. When you're 21 and you get carded, you're so upset and you feel like everybody should know how old you are. When you're 44 and somebody wants your ID, you're like, thank you so much. <laughs> this, this feels great. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed sharing this with you guys. It's always nice to have a conversation with you. So pick and choose and see what feels true to you. But what I will say is that if you find the right person to do your Botox, Botox can be super, super natural. And same thing with filler. But the important thing for every single thing when you want to look younger is to make sure that everything you do looks very natural. Because if you get Botox that looks like, you've seen it when people's eyebrows are super raised up and it's, it's extreme, like they look surprised all the time. They don't look younger, they just look surprised or, or weird. Um, I like everything to look like it could be me. Um, I don't mind sharing these tricks and tips with you guys and I know that like, a lot of people won't tell you that they do Botox, a lot of people will keep it a secret. Um, I don't believe in keeping it a secret because this is my business and for me there's no shame in all of these things that I've done. I think it's very natural and like you might look at me and say, if I didn't tell you that I was doing something, I mean, you kind of know that I must be doing something or I just have really good genetics and, and I don't. So um, anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. If you found this of value, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. So my goal is to build up my channel to 1000 followers by Christmas time. And that is like a really big goal, but it would be so helpful to me. So I am doing this as I'm supporting my business. I own a small business in Boston. And during this entire time, it has been a really hard time to be in business. So I am doing other things and I'm growing other things as fast as I possibly can. And I'm bringing value to you, so I don't wanna waste your time. But I also want you to know that like your support means everything in the world to me because this is my dream and this is my goal and 
every single you know, subscribe that I get, every single like, every single comment really makes a big difference in how this project is going. So um, if I was, if I brought some value to you, I would love it if you would do something that is of value to me. So thank you so much and stay healthy and beautiful. And let me know in the comments below, were any of these tips helpful? Do you have any questions about how you can do these things and incorporate them into your routine? I am here to help and to be your beauty concierge and signing off, it is Beauty and the Beast. And his name is Alfie or Ladies Man. And you know what, no matter whether I look 44 or 30, Alfie loves me the same, no matter what. <laughs> Bye guys.